went out with a colleague that what gone out previously with uh, t, uh, to look at the polystrate trees. This time we went to a site not very far from our house. And um, one of the things, it's a, it's a road cut. And you can see these slabs here that have fallen off. They were horizontal. Now they've turned vertical, but you can see the ripple marks. Um, so this is a fossil <laughs> with the flow you can see from them. And it's just a thin veneer of deposition there that maintain those flow patterns. Go to the next slide. The reason we went out there, this isn't very clear, but on that road cut, you've got seeps coming down the road cut and it's just coating uh, the rocks with, with iron. So go to the next slide. We thought this would be a good location to uh, bury a few objects and to see how long it would take for them to fossilize. And uh, you can see some of them in there, little teddy bears, gloves, mask. Figured everybody now is gonna recognize what a mask is. We're so sick of wearing them, so thought we'd <laughs> put them to good use. <laughs> yes. um, but there were, there were two locations. Go to the next slide, because the second location was really this beautiful stream coming down with all the flow stones that are developed these little pools with the the dams around them but instead of being calcite as you oftentimes see with hot springs this is just leaves pine needles and they've all uh solidified from the iron just being coated and then fossilized into iron so it's these iron flow formations coming down go to the next slide and at the top it's this i think this was an old mine that is filled up with water and where it was spilling out, where he's standing, that is just a little dam that has formed uh, from all the leaves that have collected and fossilized. 